Okay, so uh, this video is about how we can use cursor features actually. Like maximum of you have two mail account or one mail account and one GitHub account for cursor, but uh, you can you can't use cursor feature if you use it for once. I mean, you have used cursor feature for for a single time, and then you are not able to use cursor feature again so let me show you okay so my account limit is in now if you can if you can see uh, Uh, you may see here some other messages like any kind of message uh, related device ID or something else but uh, you can always use the tricks it's just a tricks and cursor can improve on it let's 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 start so first of all let's log out my account okay and now is the main tricks we'll just uh, open our application tab and just simply clear, clear all the uh, data actually all the cache Okay, so now let's sign in. Uh, you maybe know that cursor is not allowing new accounts from the same device. I don't know uh, how is it happening. Like you can't create cursor account with temp mail or something else. So okay, let's continue with Google. Cursor blocked my account previously. Let's continue with another account. 732. Okay. CSS file, CSS file is still not loading. It's funny man. <laughs> I don't know what happened to this cursor UI. Okay, as you can see, it loaded. Uh, I have left 150 requests. So let's let's check it. Let's continue. And yes, a master trick here. It's actually a pro tips that. Uh, sure. It must work. It works. So the trick is you have to you have to write multiple prompts constantly, at least write th thirty prompts thirty prompt at, at the same time when you just logged with a new logged in with a new account. So yeah, that was the tricks and you can use two to three accounts one after another multiple times in this way. So that was it.